This animal possesses many unique and fascinating characteristics. From its bravery in facing danger, and its remarkable resistance to venomous snake bites. Additionally, their ability to prey on various types of food, and the protection they provide for their offspring make them highly admired in the animal kingdom. In this video, we will thoroughly discuss this animal. This is the honey badger. Honey badger has the scientific name Melivra capensis. They belong to the Mustelidae family, the same family as skunk and civets. Like most members of the civets family, these animals are short and not large mammals. Honey badgers have a body length of approximately 22 to 30 inches and weigh between 11 to 35 pounds. Many people mistakenly believe that the honey badger is a skunk, due to its body structure and dominant black and white or gray colors that often lead to these animals being confused. But they are different species. Honey badgers can be found in various regions, ranging from India and West Asia to Africa. They inhabit different environments, from forests to grasslands. Currently, there are 12 recognized subspecies of honey badgers. However, one particular subspecies has black fur all over its body, and this is the honey badger from the subspecies Melivra capensis cottoni. These animals are called honey badgers because of their penchant for raiding beehives to consume honey and honeybee larvae. However, they do not only eat honey and bee larvae. Honey badgers are omnivorous animals, and their diet is quite diverse and not highly specific. This versatility makes them appear fierce, as honey badgers can prey on various animals, including snakes, scorpions, and even crocodiles. Honey badgers have a strong bite combined with long claws on their front paws, which allows them to overcome and consume predatory animals. As we know, snakes are animals that often possess venom and can be highly lethal. However, instead of being afraid, honey badgers actually enjoy hunting snakes. Many internet videos show honey badgers enthusiastically hunting and eating snakes. This is because honey badgers are immune to snake venom. The honey badger has a reputation as one of the bravest animals in the world. Despite its small size, this animal does not hesitate to confront larger and stronger foes, such as hyenas, leopards, and even lions. Honey badgers have fairly thick skin, especially around the neck area. Sometimes, even a lion's fangs find it challenging to penetrate their skin. This also aids honey badgers in protecting themselves from bee stings when they disrupt beehives. Honey badgers have a body that is highly resilient to venomous snake bites. The blood of honey badgers can produce antivenom that can counteract the effects of snake venom. A study published in a journal in 2015 found that honey badgers have a metabolism that acts as a defense mechanism against toxins. They interfere with the binding of neurotoxins to NHCR receptors, which are nerve system receptors targeted by various types of neurotoxic venom. In addition to their thick skin, honey badgers also have loose skin, which allows them to be highly flexible in inserting their heads into beehives filled with bees. Moreover, when a predator bites their neck, honey badgers can twist and counterattack by biting back. Apart from their skin, honey badgers also have scent glands located at the base of their tails. They can use these glands when honey badgers feel threatened. Honey badgers possess a remarkable set of intelligence and skills. One of the things that makes honey badgers so special is their ability to solve problems. They are experts at finding ways to access hard-to-reach food sources, such as using their enclosure to reach their food placed in high places. They can unlock enclosures to escape when confined.
Furthermore, they are capable of using wood and climbing to escape. Honey badgers also have the ability to learn quickly and adapt to new situations, allowing them to thrive in various environments, from deserts to rainforests. However, what's most striking is their fearlessness. Honey badgers seem to understand their abilities well and aren't hesitant to confront danger. In hunting, honey badgers employ clever strategies. They can dig into burrows to pursue rodents. Additionally, honey badgers have an exceptional memory. They can easily recall the locations of various food sources, enabling them to remain efficient in their food-finding endeavors. In honey badger reproduction, they can mate and give birth at any time throughout the year, but it tends to happen more frequently during the rainy and dry seasons. After fertilization, the female honey badger enters a pregnancy phase that lasts approximately 50 to 75 days. Female honey badgers give birth inside their dens, which are typically holes they find or dig themselves, often borrowed from other animals. After giving birth, honey badger offspring remain inside the den for less than three months and never venture outside. They only leave when their mother transfers them from one den to another. It's around the age of two to three months that the young honey badgers start accompanying their mother. During the process of caring for their offspring, female honey badgers are solely responsible for nurturing and protecting their young. Male honey badgers do not participate in raising the young. Honey badger mothers are highly protective of their young and will not hesitate to attack anyone, even a leopard, if they attempt to harm their offspring. Once honey badger offspring reach about 12 to 16 months of age, they become independent in the wild. In their natural habitat, honey badgers can live for about 7 to 8 years. While in captivity, they can live up to 24 years. Although they may appear fearless, honey badgers can be preyed upon by larger predators, especially their vulnerable young. Currently, Honey badgers are not categorized as endangered by the IUCN. Hopefully, this status remains the same in the future.